Hey Aquanuts, today I'm going to be reading the water test that you guys submitted. Let's get into it. So before we get into the water test that I'm going to be reading, I want to first put a disclaimer out there that there's a lot of stuff that I don't know about every single one of these pools that I'm going to be reading the test to. Number one, I don't know the gallons of any of these pools. I don't know how they look. I'm not going over TDS, total dissolved solids. I'm not going over salt. And I also don't know what these pools are made out of, whether it be vinyl, gunite, or fiberglass. So I'm just going over what I see as far as the chemistry and giving you advice based on that. And that's all it is. It's not anything legal, concrete, set in stone, none of that. You need to consult your local pool professional to get the advice that you need, knowing that I only have a very limited amount of information to go off of. So here goes. Starting off today, we have Curvin. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. If I butcher any of your names, guys, I'm really sorry. But Kervin, he has a free chlorine of four, total chlorine of four, uh, which means that he has a combined chlorine of zero. That's good. pH of 7.6, alkalinity of 67, calcium of 200, CYA of 100, phosphates of zero. What I would tell Kervin here is he probably needs to drain a little bit of water out to lower that CYA. And at least for a few months, do not use any chlorine product that has CYA in it. Stabilizer, conditioner, all the same things. It is cyanuric acid. I would also tell him that uh, he needs to raise his alkalinity just a little bit from a 67 to at least an 80. All of the other numbers look fine though. Next we have Amy. Amy has a free and total chlorine level of two, a pH of 6.8, an alkalinity of 47, a calcium level of 140, a CYA of 100, a phosphate of 2,500. What I would tell Amy is I might drain some of this water out. I would probably drain maybe 5% of this water out. Say if this was a 20,000 gallon pool, I'd probably drain maybe a thousand or 2,000 gallons out for a couple of reasons. Number one, I wanna see that CYA lowered. You are at the very top of the acceptable range as far as DHEC goes, but we want it to be around 50 or lower. Between 30 and 50 is my goal for CYA. Now this phosphates being 2,500, that's on up there. So I'd like to use maybe a nano phos or some type of a phos free product to lower that. But let's see what it is after we drain and refill. Amy, I wouldn't really worry about anything else until we drain a couple of hundred gallons out of this pool and refilled with some fresh water. Then I'm gonna tell you the same thing that I told Kervin. Stop using chlorine products that have cyanuric acid in them. CYA, stabilizer, conditioner, again, all the same things, but these are products that are available at the big box store. So you want to go to your local pool store to get some chlorine products that do not have stabilizer in it. Next up on our list, we have Mary. Mary has a free and total chlorine of less than 0.18. That is incredibly low. That's less than tap water in my area. A pH of 8.1 an alkalinity of 78, a calcium hardness level of 423, a CYA of 113, phosphate of 342. Mary, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you to drain this. Not totally, but go ahead and drain. Since I don't know the gallons of your pool, go ahead and drain about five or 10% of this pool and refill with fresh. 
A cyanuric acid level of 113 is too high for my taste. I really want to see that down at least below 70. If we can get it to 50, that would be great. Mary, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, you need to drain some of your pool out and refill it with fresh. Once you do that, let's revisit this test and go from there. Next up on our list is Reagan with a free chlorine of 4.28, a total chlorine of 5.95, which makes a combined chlorine of 1.67, a pH of 7.2, an alkalinity of 58, calcium hardness is 186, cyanuric acid is 60, phosphates is 926. Reagan, what I'm gonna tell you is the first thing that I want to do is raise the calcium level up to 200. Whatever that means as far as dosing because I do not know what your gallons is. Then I'm going to raise the alkalinity level up to 80. 58 is too low. I'm gonna raise that to 80. Once you've done that, retest. But if I'm seeing a combined chlorine level of 1.67, even though you have a total chlorine of 5.95, I'm gonna shock this pool. I'm gonna hit it with probably a couple of pounds or a bit of liquid chlorine to break that combined chlorine. You need to take your gallons and figure out how to reach your breakpoint chlorination level if those numbers stay the same after you have adjusted your alkalinity and your calcium levels. This one is Jamal. Now, what we have here is a free chlorine and a total chlorine of 0.1 or less. This is less than tap water, guys. We need to get some chlorine in this pool, but let's go over the other numbers. A pH of 7.5 is good, an alkalinity of zero, a calcium level of 160, a cyanuric acid level of five. I don't know what the phosphates are. Jamal, unless this is a fresh fill, meaning you just filled this pool up, I would probably retest. To have a zero alkalinity is a little odd. So I would at least want to see something there and to have a CYA level of five, that's within the margin of error. So I'd probably want to retest, but let's just say for instance that this test is right. The first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to raise this alkalinity level up to 80. And it could take you, depending on the size pool that you have, anywhere between 25 and 50 pounds of sodium bicarbonate baking soda to raise the alkalinity level up to where it needs to be. After you do that, I'm going to increase the CYA level just a touch. I'm not gonna go crazy here, but the chlorine, you are gonna have to raise the chlorine level of this pool to get it in the two parts per million to six parts per million range. If this pool isn't already green, you need to get it there quick or it's going to turn green. If it is green, then you need to consult your local pool store to figure out what you need to do there. Next on my list is Jamie. Bear with me, I only have a couple of more. Jamie has a free and total chlorine of 2.5. His pH is 7.5, his alkalinity is 75, calcium 385, CYA 60. I don't know what the phosphates are. This pool looks good, it really does. The only thing that I would say is put a little bit of alkalinity in there. Otherwise, this is good. Gia is up next on my list with a free chlorine and a total chlorine of 2.4, pH of 7.8, alkalinity of 80, calcium of 226, a CYA of 79, a phosphate of 2,331. 
Now, obviously, what we're going to do is we're going to lower this phosphate level using some type of a phosphree. Other than that, Gia, this looks good and turns out you weren't too late. Kim is up next on my list with a free chlorine and a total chlorine of about 1.5, a pH of 7.6, an alkalinity of 86, calcium hardness is at 254, CYA is 52, and a whopping 4,000 for phosphates. Everything looks okay except for the chlorine. In this time of the year, I really want to see that chlorine level over two. I'd like to see it somewhere between two and six, depending on your bather load. If you don't have a lot of people swimming, then we can hang back and stay at the two to three range. But if we have a high bather load, I really want to see it somewhere between four and six, just to make sure that we don't have any pathogens growing. However, with a phosphate level of 4,000, I'm gonna to wanna to start treating that and I'm gonna to wanna to start treating it soon. Get that taken care of, get your chlorine up, and you should be good to go. Last up on my list is Amber. Amber actually knows what she's doing, so she sent me a trick test for me to read, so I'm gonna read it. A free chlorine, total chlorine, the chlorine is zero, it's absolutely nothing, less than tap water. A pH of eight, alkalinity of 150, calcium 50, CYA of zero. This looks like it could be a fresh fill. I don't know. So Amber's kind of throwing me a little bit of a curveball with the high pH and high alkalinity, yet very low on all of the other readings. I don't know what the phosphates are. So Amber, if this was one of mine, the first thing that I would do is I am going to lower the pH. I'm going to get that down to about 7.5, whatever it takes to get it down there. Again, I don't know what the gallonage is. I don't know what the pool's made out of, but get that down to about 7.5 using some muriatic acid. That's also going to lower the alkalinity and get that in range. The calcium is at 50. That's a problem for me. That's going to be the next thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to raise that up to a 200. And the reason why I'm going to do that is when I go to add chlorine, which is going to be my next step, if the water has any sort of metals in them, we could run into the problem of oxidizing those metals, taking what I presume is a clear pool and turning it green like that because that's what oxidized metals do in a pool. They go from clear water to a green pool as soon as you add a product like calcium hypochloride or a trichlor product, it just oxidizes the metals out. So let's get that calcium level up. I'm also going to raise the cyanuric acid level because we have zero. Normally I would see a three or something, but we have a zero. I'm gonna raise that up and get it to at least the 20 range, and then I'm going to add chlorine. Whatever your dosing is to get the chlorine level up, and since it's at zero now, I'm assuming that there's some type of an algae in there or something that is using up the chlorine if this isn't a fresh fill. I would want to see that around a three or a four in the next couple of days. Again, I'm assuming that all of these are clear water, everything is fine, except the chemicals just need to be adjusted a little bit. So that's it for this week's water reading. If this goes well and you guys would like me to answer more of these questions, reading water tests like I did here, let me know in the comments. And then I might make this a weekly show where I read your water test that you send to me. And if this is something that you guys want me to do on a weekly basis or a bi-weekly basis, just let me know. Also, for those of you that I ticked off because I didn't give you the answer that you wanted, sorry about that. I'm giving you my advice based on my experience. Take that with a grain of salt, whatever it's worth. It's your pool. You do whatever you want with it. 
Guys, if this video has been helpful to you at all, if you like this content, if you like this style of back and forth with me reading water test, or you want to see some of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, let me know what you want to see in the coming weeks, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.